Hi, I'm Michael, and today we're going to make this resin pendant lamp using no tools other than our hand drill and a hand screwdriver. I started by mixing up 14 ounces of Total Boat 2 to 1 resin. I then laid out four cups and put a small amount of resin in each cup. I added alcohol ink to color the four smaller cups of resin. I sprayed the flat side of a silicone mat with mold release. I then poured each color out onto the silicone mat and then topped it off with the remaining clear. Adding clear will make the colors pop. And then I added drops of alcohol ink to fill in the voids and swirled it with a paint stick. I didn't think to check to see if the table was level and the resin started to seep over the edge of the mat. I tried creating a dam with hot glue and then I ended up blocking the tables up with a couple pieces of scrap plywood to keep it from pouring further. So it's been about two hours since we've poured our resin onto our silicone mat and now what we're going to do is we are going to shape it while it's in the gel stage before it fully solidifies so that it can take on the form that we want it to take on to become our pendant lamp. There is no good way to form this into a dome shape so I made a contraption with tape and boards and it didn't look pretty but it worked. So at this point, it has sat overnight and it should be totally set up. Let's open it up and see what we have. That looks pretty good, I think. So some of the edges are a little bit brittle. So we're just gonna neaten that up with a pair of tin snips and then we're just gonna sand the edges a little bit so that nothing is left to break off. All right, so I've laid out a couple of lighting components and I'm basically just going to use the end of the socket here to find about where it's gonna to wanna to hang naturally. Where it's the most balanced. And then I'm just gonna make a mark with my Sharpie there and I'm going to start by just drilling a small pilot hole. So I'm just going to hold it so that I can brace the back with my hand. Careful not to put my fingers where I'm going to be drilling. I'm going to start the drill ahead of time and then put it in the hole and slowly let it do its work. And there we go.
right. So overall, I would call this project a success. It's fun, it's functional, I think it looked great, and it was pretty simple to make, all things considered. If you try this project, I would love it if you would share some photos with us on our Instagram page. Just go ahead and tag us in it. We love seeing what people make. We're gonna be releasing new content regularly, so don't forget to click subscribe.